Head down Jefferson Avenue from Detroit and it'll lead you straight to Lake St. Clair, a large freshwater lake that sits between the Canadian province of Ontario and Michigan. Water is a defining characteristic of Macomb County, but it didn't used to be. Most people just thought of it as a manufacturing county, but not anymore. New Baltimore is an example of a lakeside community transitioning into an economy based on water. And leading that new economy initiative is Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle. We have such a freshwater advantage, 31 and a half miles of coastline, if you will, to the busiest freshwater lake than anywhere in the country during the summer months. It's not only a quality of life, but it's an economic advantage as well. Whether it's uh, marinas in and around the area, fisheries, eateries, uh, people that really want to entertain themselves by buying a boat, being out on the lake itself, swimming by a beachfront. So really there's a lot for families to do, but it also brings about an economic impact for the county itself. That water is what lured restaurant owner Teresa Martinez to New Baltimore, a small quaint town in Macomb County. We love the water and everything's right here. One of the customers found this and it was a ad from the 1960s. My mother, she had a little taco restaurant. I ended up buying a house out here and my son lives in that house. He's like, there's no Mexican restaurants over there. Mexican food was pretty much non-existent in New Baltimore until now. Teresa Martinez and her son opened Trini's Mexican Carryout in April of 2016. Martinez is from a family of Mexican cooks, so when she moved, she brought her mother's recipes and she brought jobs. Since 2010, more than 25,000 people have moved to Macomb County, an increase of nearly 3%. According to Martinez, her business predictions have exceeded her expectations. She believes New Baltimore is a boom town. I see this growing so much, just like across the street, they're building a Burger King and a new Popeyes. I mean, they wouldn't be coming in here unless they did their demographics and figured out there's more population coming. Just a short drive from where the Martinez family is cooking food, Stephen King is in his shop, overseeing the assembly of aluminum masts for boats around the Great Lakes around the time of the 92 America's Cup. America Cubed, which is Bill Koch's team, they came in and brought in engineers and used the manufacturing facility here to make carbon spars for the America's Cup. King says that within the elite world of boats and racing, people know Michigan has the technology and manufacturing know-how to compete in a global economy. When you get to a certain level in the boating industry and sailing industry, people realize what we're capable of. King's company is part of what experts call the blue economy, a term used to intentionally reconnect with water for economic development and enjoyment. I've always wanted to be by the water. Since we've been here, a lot of our clientele that used to come to us in Royal Oak, they might be from Clarkston or Farmington Hills. Hills, Bloomfield Hills, they make the drive over here to see Mary and myself. Bob and Mary Higgins own the famed Oxford Inn in Royal Oak. The city's really involved. They want to bring more businesses here, and that's what they're focusing on right now. Their venture isn't without risk. There are lots of empty storefronts, but the Higgins say they believe all storefronts will be rented or bought out soon. They've added the new shops on the corner, one block down, and there's a new shop two doors from us that's just opened this week. I just want to see a good variety of things to bring people to this area. Part of being able to access this renewal is being able to get here. Recently, Macomb County voted against having regional transit. This water is for everyone to enjoy. Regional transit would have allowed people from Detroit to get to places in Macomb County. The city of Detroit is extremely important to the entire region. And why? Because you can't recreate that. You may have pockets of entertainment in some of the municipalities you know, that you live in, but the reality is you have to have that urban environment. And the urban environment or urban setting here in Macomb County, Oakland County, Wayne County, even St. Clair and Lapeer is the city of Detroit. Macomb County is betting on water to be a 21st century economic driver. It's part of what's making Michigan a global leader in water innovation, water education, and water technology. For the Great Lakes Bureau at Detroit Public Television, I'm Martina Guzman.